Alright, so welcome back YouTube. This video is going to be on how to change the front pegs on your Hawk 250 and on a lot of different ones, but your Hawk 250. So I have these two right here that I got from a dirt bike, an actual dirt bike, and they fit on here. So I'm going to go ahead and change them out and put these heavier duty ones on. So if you look, there's a pin that runs through it all, and on the end, there's a little carter pin. So let's see if you can see that. Sorry, the video is not focusing in. There it is right there. Okay, so there's this little carter pin. You see it sticking through? So we're gonna bend this piece on the end here straight. I'm gonna use a screwdriver. Hold on a second. See, now I gotta turn so you can see it better. At least I think you can. It's not focusing on it up there. It's right there. So we're gonna bend these two edges that look like little ears straight out, and we're gonna pull that pin out. So hold on one second. All right, so I just went ahead and used a pair of channel locks, bent it, and pulled it out. There's the little carter pin. So set that so you don't lose that somewhere. Okay, now remember how everything comes off. On the end, a washer. Put them all in order to be easier to put them back. Then the pin just slides through, but look how your spring is. You've got the two hooks that go up on the upper side. You've got the one that's got a loop on this side. And look what direction they're bending. They're wrapping around and hooked up like that. So take that off and be careful you don't launch it. So I'm going to pause this. Hold on. All right. So now that I have it apart, here is the fork or the peg. I mean, sorry. It's kind of dirty and stuff. I'm going to clean off all these pieces because they're all oily. I have an oil leak on the side of my motor. And over time it builds up, so I need to replace some stuff. But in order from right to left, when you're looking at it from the left side of the bike, you have the carter pin, then you have the washer, then you have the spring in the same pattern that it was on the fork or the peg, then you have the bolt with the little hole in the end of it, and that will slide through your fork or peg. I keep saying forks, your peg will sit just like that. All right, so get your correct peg over here. See, I don't know why. Well, I don't know why I keep thinking pegs. Get your correct. Oh, that was peg. Huh. See, I'm just all off. Get the right peg that matches it. And then put it back on in the same order. And I'll see you in a minute. So it turns out that they're at the wrong angle and makes my feet sit really weird on this bike so i put the old one back on but it goes in the same order as i showed before where the pen goes through the first part of the frame then it goes into this part of the peg then it goes into the left side of the spring then the right side of the spring then peg then frame then washer then pin and then make sure you fold the ends of the pin around so you don't get hung on them, they don't vibrate out and things like that. That keeps everything in there. Well, thank you for watching my video. And hit that like button, share the video, subscribe. And hit the bell notifications so you can get more updates. Have a good day.